Lieutenant Colombo, a couple of minutes earlier, you'd have caught me without pants. Ah, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> how do you do, sir? Let me say right off the bat that I know how valuable your time is now more than ever, and I appreciate the few minutes you agreed to give me, and I'm going to try my best not to overstay my welcome. <laughs> the man's more of a politician than I am. Makeup should be ready in about five minutes for you, Congressman. Fine, you just give me a shout, Toby. Help yourself to a seat, Lieutenant. Thank you very much, sir. Well, this is a genuine antique, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's uh, been in the family for generations. Yeah. Last time I sat on one of these things, it broke. Is that right? Yeah, I was in this lady's house, and uh, you know how fragile they are, and what happened was, uh, oh, well, I'm not going to get into that. Just uh, let me say it cost me money, sir. Well, not to fear. That one's built to last. What's on your mind, Lieutenant? What well, is another antique, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, may I? Go ahead. What is it, sir? It's an antique cigar lighter. Turn of the century English. Oh. Does it work? No, it's a family heirloom now. It belonged to my grandfather. Well, in that case, sir, if you don't mind, I'll just use this one. You know, I would uh, really prefer that you did not smoke, Lieutenant. Now, uh, Toby said that you had some questions for me. Ah, uh, yes, sir, I did, yeah. Uh, are you aware of the death of a man named Frank Stateland? Yes, of course. The suicide. Well, that's what we're trying to determine, sir. You see, the law requires... You don't have to tell me what the law requires, Lieutenant. I was a practicing attorney for years. What about Frank Stapleton? You had lunch today with Oscar Finch? Yes, I did. Two of you are old friends, I understand. Going on 20 years now. Uh, well, it seems that uh, Mr. Stapleton called Mr. Finch at his house, and as it turned out, that call came in just about two hours before Mr. Stapleton died. Uh, did Mr. Finch happen to mention that to you at lunch today? No. I wonder what reason he had for calling Oscar. Um, could I borrow this, sir? Help yourself. According to Mr. Finch, Mr. Stapleton wanted a new attorney. Well, I'm not surprised, considering the fix he was in. Can't seem to get this to work, sir. Twisted. Ah, yes. Were you aware of any prior relationship between Mr. Stapleton and Mr. Finch? No. That's not to say that none existed. Stapleton was one of this city's most notorious racketeers. Oscar Finch is one of our finest criminal lawyers. It's entirely possible that their paths may have crossed on some occasion. And you're not aware of any particular occasion? None at all. Uh-huh. Is that it? Uh, it, yes. Yes, sir, that's it. Thank you very much. Let me take this opportunity to wish you my luck. Well, thank you very much, Lieutenant. Uh, there's one more thing, sir. Yes? If it's not too much trouble. My wife would love to have your autograph. Oh, why, of course, Lieutenant. That's no trouble at all. And when the time comes, I would sure love to have her vote. What's her name? Mrs. Colombo. Just one more thing. 